Utah State Senator Chris Buttis is proposing a new bill, all right, <laughs> that, that would make 12th grade uh, optional for high school students, okay? Mm -hmm. He feels that a lot of high schoolers are able to finish their credits uh, by the time they finish 11th grade, and that 12th grade is really not necessary for everyone. It should be used as a backup grade. So if you don't finish all your credits, you can use it. Right? All right, now we have a little video on this, and then I've got more details on uh, one of my favorite politicians in the country, Mr. Butters. Mr. Butters has gotten in trouble before for boneheaded ideas before. Uh, let's watch this one first and then talk about all. Remember being a senior in high school? It was a big deal, right? Homecoming, the prom, graduation, the excitement of taking that next step. You know, the stuff that memories are made of. Well, can you imagine high school ending in 11th grade? Juniors at the top of the high school hierarchy? Well, they're actually having that discussion in Utah right now. A state senator has proposed making senior year optional. If you've got enough credits to go to the next level, well, go for it. If you need the senior year, take it. The idea here is to save money. The man who's proposed the idea says it could save Utah up to $60 million, and the state is looking for ways to make up for a big money shortfall. Some people who support the idea say that many seniors just slack off anyway. You know, the old senior slump, senioritis. <laughs> but the student body president of West Jordan High School in Utah actually told the L.A. Times, quote, senior year hasn't been a waste for me. If you're the type of kid who will slack off, you'd find a way to do that in sophomore or junior year anyway. Well, you have to admit, the idea is definitely different. So let's talk about it. All right. Now, Mr. Butters, uh, the state uh, re senator from Utah, a Republican, of course, mm -hmm. has gotten in trouble before for some controversial comments he's made about uh, African Americans. Uh, one was so bad he actually apologized for it. He called a bill, and he said, this uh, bill is so ugly, it's like a black baby. Ugh. It's ugly and black. What a terrible person. And then, he, it's the only one he's ever apologized for, and he Ugh. came back and said, yeah, I, you know, I, I see how that could be misinterpreted. For anyone I might have <laughs> offended. <laughs> right. I, I, I didn't mean it that way. I just meant like it's black and ugly, you know? Not like it's in human beings. Uh, but he says, okay, that one I'll take back a little bit, right? He's, of course, also gone after gays and Muslims. What was funny is that he got in trouble when he went after uh, gays because he compared them to Muslims. So people are like, how dare you? I'm like, wait a minute. What happened to the Muslims? <laughs> okay, what's wrong? He said, uh, he, in the past, he said, you know how the gay is. <laughs> I love people who say the gay. <laughs> Okay, and then he said um, that uh, that uh, homosexuality is bringing the country down, right? Uh, and that they're as dangerous as Muslims. <laughs> and I love how no one cared about what he said about Muslims. Anyway, uh, so Mr. Butters has had a lot of genius ideas on this particular one. Um, don't doesn't anybody get? It? I read an L.A. Times story on it. We just saw the CNN thing on it. I've read now three articles on it. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting for someone to say the most obvious thing in the world. If you make junior year, senior year, then they'll have junioritis. Okay. Oh, they're going to slack on the last year if it's in 11th grade or in 12th grade. How stupid can you be? Why? Did you, has anybody ever gone to high school? Does anybody ever think? Right. I slacked senior year. You know why? I'd already gotten into college. Okay. And I didn't give a damn. So my first half of the year, I'm trying to get into college. Now, look, there's a lot of different reasons why people slack in, in, in their senior year. Right. But this is a, a big one for a lot of kids, right? So I'm trying like hell to get into school because I had to get my grades up, right? So I'm getting A's, I'm kicking ass, blah, blah. I'm getting great recommendations. I get into school, off a cliff. Boom, gone, done. Not a single homework assignment after that. You'd be lucky if I showed up, okay? And eventually, one of my, my English teacher tried to pull my recommendation back. He said, like, I'm going to write to school. He's like, you, you're a liar, okay? You, you pretended you were an A student. Turns out you're a terrible student. Okay, you know what? I already got into school. What do I got to bust my ass for for no reason? Right. I believe in busting your ass for a reason, not for no reason. Right. Now, if I got into college halfway through my junior year, then I take the ha last half of junior year off. Now, come on, people, think a little bit. Think, okay? And not only that, look, one of the issues is a lot of people, a lot of teenagers go into college and they're not prepared for it. And the reason why they're not prepared for it is because our public school system is a joke, okay? Obviously, they're not raising the bar. The standards are not high enough. Students are not feeling challenged. If students are able to finish all of their credits and be done by 11th grade, that speaks very poorly 
about the public school system. Shouldn't they have more education? Isn't that a good idea to make sure that they're better prepared for college or university? Well, you see, Anna, that's why I actually like this story in some ways, because I got to give a bird his credit, because at least he's a Republican who says, hey, you know what? I'm not just saying cut taxes, cut taxes, and uh, we're never going to get cut any services, and you need to balance the budget. No, um, he's saying, I'm willing to cut services. Yeah, he's and, just, you, and the first thing he goes to is education, yeah. which is bullshit. No, 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 but it's not. It's great. It's the exact opposite of bullshit. It's totally honest. Uh -huh. it, he's saying, I'm a Republican, and I don't really give a damn about education. But another thing that Butters did, to give you a sense of how much he doesn't care about education, he tried to uh, make sure that they talk creationism. Mm -hmm. And, you know, trying to evolution is the unreliable and pseudoscience. He don't, want to get, he don't want you to get educated in the first place. You see what I'm saying? So he's like, oh, if I can cut out a year of education, fantastic. Maybe more people will believe the dumb things I believe mm -hmm. if they don't get a proper education. Right? So, but at least he's willing to say, I'm going to cut services. Okay? You don't want to pay higher taxes? We're going to lose 12th grade. Okay? Now, okay, the good people of Utah, you've got a choice now. Okay? If you want your kids to get educated and you want them to have 12th grade, you go with the other side. But you know, you got, uh, got to understand you got to pay for it somehow. If you don't want to pay for it, well, those are the cuts you're going to have to make. Okay? And now, finally, uh, of course, uh, in the end, it doesn't work out anyway because uh, Butters wanted to get rid of it entirely. People went nuts, and then, of course, he can't get rid of it, so he amended it to okay, if you've finished all your credits by 11th grade, then you don't have to do 12th grade. So that was his big revolutionary breakthrough, except that's already the case. Right. Okay. So people in Utah are like, what are we talking about here? Why is this guy passing this law? That, that's already the law in the state. What are you wasting our time for? Because he's a knucklehead. That's why. The one good thing that could come out of this bill, though, is they're giving students a $1,000 scholarship if they finish uh, all of their credits uh, in 11th grade. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that could be a good thing. Students will be a little overachievers and they'll get that $1,000 credit toward an education, right? Which isn't a ton of money when it comes to how much college actually costs, right? But it's still something. So maybe, I don't know, maybe this is a good thing in that, in that way. And look, I hear you. Just stay in school, man. I mean, look, even if you're going to have senioritis or whatever, senior year is awesome, okay? Especially under this current system. If they got rid of 12th grade altogether, well, then 11th grade, like I said, you'd have the prom and you'd slack off and it'd be awesome. Okay, so that's different. But under this current system where they're going to keep the 12 grades, if you miss your senior year, you are going to miss the prom and you're not going to get to slack off after a year. The senior year for me was one of the best years of my life. And I wouldn't trade that for the world. A thousand bucks, Mr. Butters, you can keep your money. No interest.